I want to talk to you all today about our digital agenda for Europe and to tell you what Brussels is doing for the sector of information and communication technology, ICT. In these difficult economic times, the people of Europe are plagued by uncertainties about their future, their jobs, their lifestyle. And those people turn to politicians, national and European, and rightly demand to know what can be done to make the situation better and provide long-term growth. As the EU's Commissioner for the Digital Agenda, I'm convinced that ICT holds the answer. In Europe, the sector is a substantial and growing part of our economy, representing half of our productivity growth, creating millions of jobs. And the right framework can support this ecosystem, ensuring it continues to deliver its promise. And this has been acknowledged at the highest level. The leaders of all EU nations, recognizing that ICT will drive growth in the years to come, have called for a rapid progress. And let me tell you what we are doing in the EU to get every European digital. First, we are ensuring the infrastructure, the rails on which the ICT revolution can run. The EU has reached agreement on an ambitious proposal on radium spectrum, making our policies efficient and coordinated, and ensuring we can anticipate and meet the demand which will rocket as technology develops. And we are getting everyone with access to broadband too, because increasing broadband penetration by just 10 percentage points can boost GDP by between 0.9 and 1.5 percent. All Europeans should have access to fast broadband by 2020. The Connecting Europe facility we have proposed for the EU budget could leverage between 50 and 100 billion euros for broadband investment. And we are taking steps to design the right regulatory framework to speed up market investment in next generation infrastructure. And second, we are creating a vibrant digital single market so that mobile devices and internet content can move freely within the EU, just as our citizens can. For example, we are taking action on high roaming charges. Too often, such charges present a barrier to Europeans using devices abroad. My legal proposal would get to the root of this problem for voice, for text, for data, by restoring competition to the market, giving ordinary users more choice and a fairer deal. We also need to ensure the rules for digital content make the most out of our single market. The internet knows no borders, nor should our rules and regulations. But too often there are barriers in the way on issues like rights clearance. We will be removing those barriers so that entertainment and online services flow freely across national borders, so that innovators can access a market of 500 million consumers without dealing with 27 different rule books, and so that people can benefit from the best the internet has to offer wherever they are in the EU. And third, I want people to trust the technology, to be confident about their online privacy, to be confident that their children are empowered, informed and safe online. To be confident that the system as a whole is protected against cyber threats. And so I'm taking action in all those areas. Those measures on their own won't create the technology of the future. We in the European Commission are at best an enabler, a catalyst. But those measures can support each other and create an environment in which innovation can flourish. If we put those measures together, if we build infrastructure, build a digital single market and build trust, then we can also build the economy of the future. Thank you.